I got a chance to see the first three episodes of Wheel of Time Season 2, and today I want to share with you my spoiler-free thoughts on the episodes. Please take a moment and like the video if you enjoy Wheel of Time content and consider subscribing to the channel to make sure you don't miss any of the content being released around Season 2 of the Wheel of Time or the Wheel of Time books. As I mentioned, I'm going to keep this review spoiler free. I'll have spoiler filled reviews where I will break down what happened in the episodes that will come out as soon as the embargoes lift. But let's talk about these episodes. So I think the most pressing question on everybody's mind. Are they any good? And while I can't tell you what you're going to think about things, I can say that for me, this was a major upgrade over season one. I'll talk about a few of the reasons why here in a moment, but in just about every single possible way, this was an upgrade to season one in my opinion. Now, the episodes I've seen were not perfect, and there are some issues that I will discuss in my spoiler breakdowns, but by and large, this is a major upgrade. And that's not to say that season one was bad, although there were parts of it I thought were bad. I simply think they corrected quite a bit of the things that I thought were lacking from season one. So I should add though, and we'll talk about this again here in a moment, that I anticipate a rather strong reaction from some folks who want a very, very close adaptation of the books, but more on that in a moment. So what was better? Well, I think one of my largest complaints with season one was how small the world felt and how tiny the sets seemed to be. I mentioned that in my previous video. Well, and I could say that the world here feels massive. Uh, there are many, many different locations. All of them have distinct architecture, different styles of clothing, different ways of talking. The scenes in the White Tower are amazing, and the tower itself feels much, much bigger. And yes, I don't think it's a spoiler to say that you're going to get to see more than two rooms in the White Tower this year. There were also more new characters with larger roles and some characters returning from last season outside of the main group that also have larger roles. And I'm not going to spoil an ounce of this right now. There are some great performances through the first three episodes, but Kate Fleetwood as Leandrin steals the show to me. Leandrin has a much larger focus so far this season than you would probably expect that she would, and honestly, it's excellent. The character is so well done at this point, I just can't say enough good things, and I can't wait for all of you to see it. Another area of major improvement over season one is the visual effects. Channeling has seen a major upgrade. I wish this had been done for season one. This is how channeling should have looked from the get-go. The hand motions are a bit less ridiculous, and overall, it feels authentic. It feels real. You can tell the weaves apart. The other VFX shots are not perfect, and it's certainly not on the level of something like uh, Rings of Power, which had an amazingly crazy VFX budget, but the shadow spawn looked good. The landscapes and cities look good, and many of the visual effects were actually tough to spot, which is a good thing when it comes to visual effects. I, I will say that there has also been an upgrade not only to the cinematography, at least in my opinion, but also in terms of the lighting. There has been an obvious change to the lighting and the color grading to give the overall darker feel to the shots, and it's contributed in a huge amount of realism to the show, in my opinion. Opinion. It feels much more gritty, but not in like a sexual content way or anything like that. I'm not sure if everybody will notice the changes to the lighting for what they are, but I do think that the show will feel different to people who are watching it, and that's feel good in a positive way. Now, let's talk about the writing, because the writing is where the adaptation lives and dies in, in the eyes of many fans. That's where the story is adapted, but it's also where the dialogue and plot come from. And I think there are two ways to look at this, and I think people are going to have a couple of different opinions on it. Let's start with how you're going to view this if you came in having truly girded your loins to the changes as they have told us to do. If you are coming into the show uh, just hoping for the Wheel of Time adapted with good writing and the essence of the characters and the story intact, then I think you're going to be very, very, very happy with season two. In that way, this was a major upgrade over season one. There was some clunky dialogue written in season one as well as some questionable adaptation choices in my opinion, but the writing in season two is much more solid. The decisions outside of a few that I'll mention in my spoiler reviews seem to be good ones. I was coming into this season knowing that there would be massive changes, and I knew that season three would be a closer adaptation, so I was a little bit more prepared for some of these changes, and I think maybe that affects my opinion. But I think the other way of viewing this is, is that if you come into Wheel of Time season two with expectations that they're going to move back in the direction of following the books exactly, I I think you're going to be upset. They are attempting to blend a couple of books and plot lines to, to fit this in the screen time. And in doing so, the plot lines have a semblance of the book plot lines, but there are some major differences uh, that will push even the most open-minded book fans to ask at certain points, what am I watching again? Here's the bottom line to me, though. 
I was going to be fine with the changes to season one if it just happened to be really good television and they kept the heart of the characters and what's supposed to happen. I think season one was partially successful with that, but it failed miserably in other areas. Season two is great television so far. It's compelling to watch. The character development is outstanding. It is a much more character-driven story. The characters feel real. They feel authentic. It's fun. There's a big upgrade in the action scenes. The core plot lines are still in motion, and they're going to take us to a conclusion that I think we probably expect. That all being said, it is far from a close plot adaptation. It's honestly really good television, and I think if I had a prediction, I think non-book readers are going to love this. They won't know that some of the things have changed, and because it's done so well, it'll look really, really good to them. But for readers that come in with certain expectations, I think that's going to be hard to adjust to at first. Again, I will never tell someone how to feel about a show, but the changes for season two are larger than that of season one. Be prepared for that. But also just enjoy it for what it is because the characters are going in the same directions. They are mostly authentic and it's still the wheel of time. My suggestion is just to try to enjoy it for what it is. And it's a great, compelling story with great characters. So I will say that some of the characters are done far better than the books, actually. Leandrin is one. It's just outstanding. So that is my non-spoiler review of the first three episodes of season two of The Wheel of Time. I'll have my spoiler-filled reviews coming out very shortly with a new review score, and I'll let all of you know the details I loved and what I didn't. I will also be bringing back the Dark Friend Social live show that will air Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So stay tuned for that. Let me know what level of plot changes you are willing to accept in the comments of the video. Please like like the video and subscribe to the channel to get more Wheel of Time TV show and book related content. Huge thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. Y'all are awesome and you make this channel possible. If you enjoyed the video, check out one of these here that you also might like. Thank you for watching and until next time, peace out.